Welcome back to another video and today I want to do a tutorial for you guys to show you how you do a Roblox live stream on YouTube with OBS. Now this is super easy, at least I find it easy, and I hope it can be easy for you guys after I show you how to do it. So you're going to need the program OBS to live stream and this is a tutorial on how to stream on YouTube and not Twitch. I don't know how to do Twitch, I only know how to do YouTube because that's where I stream. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. All right, so I just have OBS open right here. I have some scenes set up, but if you are new to OBS, this should be all like blank, like no scenes, no sources. The only thing in the mixer is gonna be your desktop audio, but I'm gonna show you guys how to set all of this stuff up really quick. So what you wanna do is go to Roblox. So I am going to go to my internet browser really quick. And now we are on Roblox. So what you are going to want to do is go to a game. Let's just do Bloxburg. And you're gonna wanna go to Bloxburg and hit play. Now this is part of setting up the stream. So OBS knows that Roblox is open. This just helps set it up. So we're just gonna make this full screen and just leave the game open. Sorry, it might be lagging a little bit because the game is kind of laggy when it starts up. But now that we have Roblox open, just leave it open. We're going to go back to OBS. What you want to do is go to sources right here. Go all the way down to the bottom and hit the add icon. You are going to go to game capture and you are going to have create new selected and you can name it whatever you want. You're probably going to want to name it Roblox. That's the easiest thing. I'm just going to name it Roblox 2 because I already have a Roblox one down here from my previous live streams and we're just going to hit OK and it's going to open this box. What you want to do is go to mode right here and select capture specific window. And then this new box will appear that says window. You're just going to click this and then find Roblox on here. You're going to click Roblox and then you can go down here and change any settings that you want to. Like, do you want your cursor to show up? If you don't want your cursor to show up, then you can uncheck that and just do anything you want with these settings. And then you're just going to hit OK and it'll be on your screen. And this is what the stream will see in this black box. So we have Roblox set up. As you can see, Roblox doesn't fill the whole screen. There's kind of some like black area around it that it doesn't completely fill. So if you want to fix that, you are just going to go down to sources. You're going to right click it go to transform and all the way down here you're going to hit stretch to screen and it'll fill your screen and it's all set up for you. Now I'll also be showing you really quick how you can set up a microphone and a camera if you want to. So what you are going to do is go to sources and you're going to hit plus again and for a microphone you are going to hit audio input capture. So you're just going to click this and create new, name it whatever you want to. I'm just going to name it micro Microphone 2 because I already have a microphone set up. So Microphone 2, hit OK. And then you are just going to look for your microphone. So it might come up as default. As you can see at the bottom, it is now picking up my microphone right here. So you can select default or line in is what mine is called. Yours might be different depending on what kind of microphone you have. But as long as you can see your voice coming through right here, you have the levels, then that means you have the right one selected, if that makes sense. So you are just going to hit OK when you've got your microphone and that is set up. As you can see, it's turned up to the maximum and some people might not like that because it can make you really loud if your microphone is loud. So what you're going to want to do is just turn it down. I turn it down to about here. You don't really want your voice to go in the red. Usually the top of the green a little bit into the orange is a good range. If it's in the red, it's really loud for the people watching your stream. So it might be a little bit annoying. So you just want to keep it in this little area right here and it'll be a better range for your viewers. Now, if you want to have the Roblox game audio in the background at all, you turn up desktop audio. I have my Roblox audio turned down so it's not coming in, but usually I'll turn it up to about here maybe, just a little to negative 
50 area. You don't want to turn it up all the way because then the game audio will override what you are saying on the microphone. Like you want the game audio to be down here. At least that is my opinion. You want the game audio to be down here and you want your voice to be up here. So your game audio is in the background, but your microphone is at the front. So that is the best way I think to stream so everyone can hear you well. And finally, we are going to be adding a camera. So what you want to do is click add again in sources and you are going to select video capture device. You're going to click this, create new. I'm just going to put face cam two as the name. Okay. And then you are going to have to find your device on this list. I don't have my camera plugged in right now, so I can't show you my device on the list, but it's going to be like all the other sources we set up. You're going to have your camera plugged in if it's a plug-in camera, or if it's a webcam, it should already be set up. You are just going to hit device, go down the list, find your camera, click it, and then change any settings you'd like to change. I usually don't change them at all, but if you want to, you can change them. Click OK, and then your face cam should be set up and you should be able to move it around, scale it, just like we did with the Roblox source. So now we got our live stream all set up. See, we've got Bloxburg on the stream. If we had a camera set up, it would be on. We have our microphone levels on. Also, if your face cam happens to make um, an audio level and you don't want it, all you have to do is turn it down if you don't want it, and then click hide, and it'll disappear. So you don't have to have it there anymore if you don't want it. Because some face cams come with a microphone, so you might have like double audio, but I don't like that, so I just turn it down and hide it so it's not there anymore. I'll also be showing you guys really quick how to add background music because that can be useful for your streams. So what you want to do in sources is click add again, and what you want to select is media source. You're going to click this. And you're going to name it whatever you want to, so I'm just going to name it Song 2. Click OK. And you're going to find the song on your computer. So here are some of the songs I have. Let's see. I'm just going to select one of these random songs just to give an example. We're going to select this remix of Faded by Alan Walker. We're just going to click this, click Open, and then it should go onto your stream. You can click if you want it to loop. Click if you want it to restart playback. You can do whatever you guys want to do with these settings. Just click OK. You also want to turn it down right here to be background music because you don't want it to be really loud. And if you ever want the song to stop, all you've got to do is click the little eye right here next to it and it'll disable the song. And then you can click it again to re-enable it. That also works with any of these sources. If you want Roblox to be hidden for a few seconds, you can just click the eye and it disables it. Same with the face cam and the microphone like that. And those are pretty much all the sources. Now we are going to get in how you actually stream to YouTube. So what you want to do is go into your settings and I'm going to show you my OBS settings that I have because sometimes OBS can be kind of laggy when you're streaming. So I'm going to try and show you my settings and hopefully they work for you. They also worked for one of my friends. So I'm hoping those stream settings work for you. So what you don't want to do is settings is go over to output and you are going to go to streaming right here. So for my encoder, I will use quicksync H.264. And then I have this box ticked. I have this rescale output clicked because that can make your stream less laggy and I have it at 1280 by 720. Target usage is balanced profile main. Keyframe interval 2, this setting is 4, rate control, CBR, and bitrate 3500. So those are the settings that work for me. I am also going to show you under video really quick. I set my base resolution to 920 by 1080, output resolution to 920 by 1080 again, downscale filter by cubic and common FPS value 30. And those are the settings I use to stream. It doesn't lag for me, so I'm hoping also it doesn't lag for you, but they seem to work pretty good on most Roblox games. Another thing you want to set up before your live stream starts is hotkeys. These help when you start streaming and stop streaming. 
So I don't have any set up right now, but you can use whatever key you want. All you want to do is click it and click a key. So I'm going to press maybe the up key, for example, and then stop streaming will be the down key. But make sure that they are something you are not going to be pressing while you are playing your game. So if you're playing Roblox, you don't want to make it W, A, S, or D. So you don't want to do that or you'll accidentally end your stream and then it'll mess up. I recommend making them F1 and F2. Those are the settings I have for recording, but you're not really going to press those keys a lot when you're playing Roblox. Just try and pick something that isn't a letter and isn't a number or anything you're going to be using in Roblox and you should be good to go. Finally, how you set it up to stream is you're going to go to the stream tab right here. You're going to go stream type streaming services, service YouTube slash YouTube gaming. The server, I pick primary YouTube server and the stream key. So I'm going to show you how you can get your stream key. You are going to go to YouTube right here. This is your live dashboard. If you don't know how to get here, you're going to go to your creator studio and go to the third thing on the list, which is live streaming. Now you are here, you can set your title for your live stream, the description, you can schedule the stream, pick a category, I pick Roblox Gaming, the privacy of your live stream, you can change the thumbnail, all those things. If you have any questions about how to set this up, please let me know in the description and I can help you out. But how you find the keys, you scroll down and go to encoder setup. You are going to take your stream name slash key, you are going to click reveal, copy it, and then paste it where it says stream key. Now don't let anyone see your stream key because the thing is if they have it, they can use it and stream to your YouTube channel, which isn't good because people can troll and use it and stream stuff you don't want on your channel. So make sure you keep your stream key private. And I believe that is the final step for streaming. Now all you have to do is go to OBS and hit apply for your settings so it sets all of them. Hit OK and then you are done. You can hit the start streaming button or use your hotkey to start streaming that you picked. Talk to your fans and have a good time. So I hope this helped you guys out a lot on how to make a stream for Roblox. If you need to know how to make a thumbnail, go click in the top right corner. I have a tutorial on how to make thumbnails if you want some advice. Also be sure to check out my other videos. Leave a thumbs up if this helped you please so other people know that it's helpful. And also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for other Roblox videos and future tutorials. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!